Hello, Pancasters, and welcome back. Today, Olivia joins us again, and he's going to talk about PanOS versions. Hello, Olivia, and welcome back. Hello, John. Glad to be back. Today, I will talk about the PanOS naming convention, which version to choose, and what do preferred and end-of-life version mean. It happened multiple times when I work on some cases that customers do not really understand the different versions, or they refuse to upgrade to a maintenance release because it was not the preferred one. So I think an episode about how PanOS versioning may help our pancasters. Great. Thanks, Olivier. So maybe you can start with the naming convention. Sure. PanOS version naming convention is quite simple. The first number indicates the major version number, the second one indicates the minor version number, and the last one indicates the maintenance release version. For instance, 10.1.10 means that it is a release for major version 10, minor version 1, and maintenance release 10. A different major version number indicates major change in features, behavior, or architecture, while a minor version number indicates smaller change in terms of feature or architecture. And when we talk about the version, we will talk directly about the major version followed by its minor. For instance, PanOS 10.0 is end of life. Finally, the maintenance release version number indicates how mature the version is. So 10.1.10 is the 11th iteration of PanOS 10.1. Keep in mind 10.1.0 is the first iteration of PanOS 10.1. Also, each maintenance release is cumulative. That means it contains all the fix from all the previous maintenance release. 10.1.10 contains all fixes from 10.1.0. As a result, it is safe to assume that the higher the maintenance release version number is, the more mature the version is. But don't take the same assumption for the major version and minor version number. They are to distinguish the amount of features. PanOS 10.0 will have more features than PanOS 8.1. There is no relation to the software stability. Okay, so we have multiple versions at the same time. How would we know which one to choose? There is no perfect answer. It will depend on the devices, the enabled features, the cloud services you are using. For instance, Panorama version needs to be the same or greater than the version of the managed firewall. It can also depend on the design or the technology chosen. For instance, if you need some specific routing features only available on the advanced routing engine, you will have to run on PanOS 11.0 or above. Except for upgrades due to the version reaching its end of life, you should review the listed new features and decide if the upgrade is interesting or not. Also, I would recommend to not upgrade to a new PanOS version, for instance, moving from PanOS 9.1 to PanOS 10.1, while you have reported an issue to TAC, unless it is a known issue which is fixed in that version. Why? Simply because a new version introduces a lot of changes that will only add complexity to isolate the cause of your issue. However, upgrading to the last maintenance release can be interesting to do as it helps to see if the issue is still present on the version and if a fix is required or not. To illustrate what I just mentioned, for instance, you have an issue on 9.1.7 and you just engage TAC. Do not upgrade to PanOS 10.0, but upgrade to the last maintenance release, for instance, 9.1.10 and check if the issue persists or not. And if you have a software issue ID, you can always contact your account team to check the status of the issue. At the start, you mentioned the preferred version. Can you tell us more about this? Sure, John. Let's talk about the preferred version. A publicly available page is regularly updated with the current supported version and the preferred version, actually the preferred maintenance release for each version. Before I start to talk about the preferred version, you need to know all publicly released versions have passed through a series of QA tests, something like thousands of tests. Those tests will validate most general use cases of PanOS situation. And it happened that corner cases are not caught when the maintenance release is out. Anyway, I just want to say that all releases are considered ready for production, otherwise we won't release it. So then, why a maintenance release is marked preferred? The ETAC team will monitor the adoption of the new release and the reported issue to see if there is no critical issue to decide if it is a good option to upgrade the device to. However, let's say you are running on 9.1.9, the preferred release is 9.1.9H2, and you have experienced a software issue resolved only in 9.1.10. 
Will you upgrade to 9.1.9H2 or the 9.1.10? Some customers will only upgrade to 9.1.9H2 and wait 9.1.10 to be preferred to consider upgrading to it, while by upgrading directly to 9.1.10, they will not experience the issue. Also, by waiting for the new release to be marked as preferred, customers are actually pushing back the date it will be actually marked as preferred, as the adoption of the version is a factor to decide if it is preferred or not. Finally, let's say a new vulnerability with active exploitation in the wild is fixed on the last release. Would you wait for the version to be preferred? Of course not. You will immediately upgrade the PanOS device to fix the vulnerability. Lastly, the notion of preferred release is at a point in time. If you ask again the next month, the answer will have changed. So for all those reasons, preferred version is not always the version to install. Good info. Thanks, Olivier. What about software end of life and support? So when a version becomes end of life, that means the engineer will stop working on that version. Unless there is a major security vulnerability, you can expect no new maintenance release on the end of life version. Also, from the tax side, we can assist you in best effort to solve an issue. But eventually, if it's a software issue, you will eventually need to upgrade to a supported version so the issue can be further investigated and eventually, if a fix needs to be released, the fix will be released. Perfect. So, what are the key takeaways for today, Olivier? So, the key takeaways. The PanOS version naming convention is quite simple. Major version dot minor version dot maintenance release. You should choose the PanOS version based on your actual need, the stability requirement, and the software support. Preferred version is not always the version to install. It will depend on the situation at a point in time. And do not run on end-of-life version. Thanks again, Olivier. As always, you will find the transcript with different relevant links at live.paloaltonetworks.com under Pancast.